Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another work vlog. I only have one order to do, but I do have three cake toppers to do total. It's Friday night. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, actually, yeah, it's 5.29 already. Um, my husband's making dinner. Kids are doing homework. So I have some time to work on this stuff. I have to have everything done by Sunday night. So I don't want to have to work tomorrow or Sunday because I did say I wasn't going to work on the weekends. And technically, even though it's already Friday, I still work today, so I feel like I can add to my work day. I have to do a tie-dye cake topper, which you guys have seen a gazillion times. But I am working on a new design, and I'm going to share that cake topper with you. I have it right here. It's in the process, and so far it's looking so good. My computer is finally working. I did record when I finally got it to work, so I'm going to share that right here with you guys. I finally got my computer up and running, but I had to bring it out to our living room. I got all of my files again. I actually have to go through all this to see what I have to delete because as you can see, there's way too many things in here. I think I'm almost at capacity. That's how much I have left. If you guys have seen the past couple of vlogs, I talk about how my computer had a virus. It's 100% my fault. I downloaded something that I wasn't supposed to download. I was actually following a tutorial on how to do something. I should have continued watching the video because obviously it told me not to do it and I ended up doing it before I saw that part of the video. So anyway, long story short, I got a virus. It was really bad. It was really, really bad. I backed everything up into my hard drive because I do have a hard drive. Backed everything, so I deleted everything. It takes me back to the original software that came with this. And I think this is 2017 iMac? 2015, 2017, I don't know. And then you have to like upgrade one by one. It took forever. It took hours and hours and hours, but I got it to work. When I went to go download Silhouette, it gave me the latest version, which is uh, 4.495 or something. and it was horrible, it kept lagging, it it was just one big mess, I do not recommend it. So I did a whole bunch of research and I ended up going back to version 3 somewhere. Now obviously it's from years ago but it's the best one that has worked for me so far so I'm gonna stick with that one. But at least now it's working. I wanted to cry last night because I was working on orders and nothing was going right. Not only was I having a bad day in my regular life, like I was already kind of feeling down then I come here and everything is just going wrong I had to get cake toppers done but anyway I got that fixed um so yeah today is a new day and oh my gosh today I'll be able to work on the things that I need to work on but let me get let me start some prep work and I guess I'll time lapse that gonna kiss I had a quick little snack and now I'm here because I have to work on two cake toppers and 
four shirts, four toddler shirts, but I'm only pressing two of them today. The other two I have to design and hopefully cut. And if I get a chance, I will um, heat press them because my heat press is going to be on already. But I'm taking it step by step. I always do that. I always make a list and I put my top priority first, like the things that I have to get done. That way, if I start on the other things, great. If I finish them, amazing. If I don't get to them, it's all right because, you know, I've already done what I really need to do first. I have my list pad here. I actually have a list inside, but I'm not gonna go back inside to get the list. I can just redo the list. Um, I do need a pen. Last couple clips, I was working on some tie-dye cake toppers, and then I also was working on some new cake toppers that I never showed you guys. So I'm gonna show you here because I don't think I showed them in my last clips. They're fiesta themed cake toppers, and I have them up on my Etsy. I still haven't put them up on web my website. Actually, I don't think I've returned my shop from vacation, like my actual website. That's another thing to do, but that I can do it whenever because, you know, it's just on the laptop. All right, so today we have two tie-dye cake toppers. I think it's for twins, or it could just be for two BFFs. Um, and then we have t-shirts. And that I already have everything cut out, so it's gonna be one, two, three. All I have to do is press it on. The other t-shirts are three tees, but I have to design. And I don't even know what I'm gonna design. Okay, perfect, so we have six things on the list. Just have to make sure that two of them get done, maybe four. And if I get everything done, wow, I'm amazing. But I'm not gonna get everything done. Do you guys like my mug? Or not my mug, my cup. It says, my crystal ball says you're full of shit. And I got this at the Scrapbook Expo. I didn't make this myself. It's so cute. I freaking love this. I, I have my coffee here every single day. The only thing I don't like is this wood little tapa that it has. I wish it had something different because I don't know. I just, I feel like this is gonna get moldy very fast. And I only hand wash it. I think my husband accidentally put it in the dishwasher once. Even just getting it wet, I don't feel like it's gonna last. I feel like there's gonna get mold on it and I'm gonna have to trash it and it's gonna be a very sad day. But I saw a TikTok where they had, it was like an Amazon seller. They have frosted glasses. They have uh, a lid that's plastic and it's fully dishwasher safe. I kind of want it, but... I just bought a whole bunch of these. Hopefully they come out with just the tapas and I can buy them. So let me get started. I'm on zero minutes, so I have to make some space as well so that way I could continue to vlog for you guys. My son is going to come help me in a little bit. He's going to put in some hours this week so that way he can get paid. So what I'm doing right now is laying everything out for him to see what I need. I try to keep stock so that way all I have to do is worry about the name. But I noticed that I'm not doing a good job on keeping track. So I always have like either too much of the white part or too much of the gold part single tie-dye numbers so i'm making a list right now of things that i need to cut so that way i can have it all ready for him when he comes here I have everything laid out here and i'm making a list right here of what i need to cut so that way i can set it up like this for him and he'll be able to make the cake toppers like he'll be able to put all of this together so you see i have the white Part right here I have the gold which is the last piece and then the tie-dye which is the first piece pretty much just going based off of like my more popular numbers I like to have one or two on hand when I have more time I'll try to have three on hand does anyone else use the crap out of their blade I think I've done this blade so dirty it's gotten to the point right now where for regular cardstock I have to put it on eight and force of 28 and if you know anything about blades, especially with the silhouette, you know that that's pretty freaking rough. Like that's for thick material or thicker material. I don't know. I just, I always use the crap out of my blades. Literally, like, till I can't no more. The only reason I'm changing it right now, it's just so annoying to have to go back into every single setting just to change it up and for me to go back in to change the blade change the force all that stuff it's very time consuming but it does save me money because i don't have to switch out my blade as often so yeah if anybody else does that let me know because i cannot be the only one. Oh no it has lines so that means i gotta change the ink as well that's another thing too i well i feel like everybody with the ink uses it up until the very end but i try to push it sometimes all right, I see lines, which is not good. I don't even know if I should continue. Let me see. No. No, 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 no. This is no good. So a lot of replacing right now. You got to replace the blade, the ink, 
the mat oh my gosh that's another thing that i use it until i can't anymore and i have all of these all of my old ones i have stacked here like this one and this one this one and this one they're all old ones that won't attach like nothing attaches onto it anymore i told myself that i'm gonna make them sticky again because that's what i do with all my mats i you know make them sticky but i just don't have the time to do it so they just pile up there and what i've been doing recently which i used to do way before like before i feel that you could make them sticky again i would just put washi tape sometimes i use regular scotch tape masking tape whatever tape i have whatever works i use that because i don't want to replace my mats as often because it gets crazy you know see i tell no lies finish the two cake toppers that i had to do this is going to the same person. I think I said this before, but I don't know if they're twins or just BFFs. I got that one done off of the list. And then I also got the 3T shirts. And I got nowhere near this one, the last one, which I have to design, cut, and press. But I did press the other ones. So I'll show you that. They're just up here because my heat press is down there. This is one of them. They both say the same thing. Oh, no. Little hangers are too small for these. But anyway, uh, I was just letting them cool down up there. And they're not for sale. So I don't have to worry about like copyright or anything like that. These are to give as gifts. I had a whole bunch left over. This is the bigger size. And I also have them in smaller size. Are they here? Where did I put them? Over here. So I have them in smaller size. And I have a lot. And the reason why I have so much is because I posted them on my Etsy. This was a long time ago. Like when I first started my LLC when I first started the business as an actual business and I didn't realize that I don't know why I didn't realize this but copyright items are a no-go like if they're trademark stuff I can't do that so um anyway long story short I had a whole bunch of these mommy's target buddy one and obviously you can't do that so I'm left with a whole bunch of these and I figured as I go I'm gonna try to give these as gifts this is the first set that I'm gonna give as gifts. The other one will be for another day. I'll design later and then I'll cut and press tomorrow if anything. But I do have to get that done tomorrow. So this is gonna be for another day. I cut out all of my tie-dye stuff, all of the stuff that I have to get ready for my son. I don't know how, even with freaking writing it down, I still got it wrong. So I have a couple of numbers left to do. Everything else has its partner. He came in for a little bit, my son, and then something happened and he just quit on me. So I have to do all this by myself or hopefully he'll feel better another day and he'll help me out so that way he can get paid. That's all I'm going to do for today. I actually have to go inside and make dinner because, you know, that's also on the list. And it's getting a little late. Now that the kids are back in school, I have to make dinner earlier. Like before, I was getting away with making dinner a little bit later. So I was able to spend pretty decent amount of time after work inside my office. But now with school, I have to make sure that dinner is ready by a certain time. And... I don't even know what I'm making today. I have no idea. I asked my daughter to clean the rice pot because that's the one thing that can't go in the dishwasher. So I always soak it overnight and I forgot to wash it. Even though I had so much time this morning. This morning I woke up at 6. I was ready by 6.30. So I made breakfast for everyone, made lunch for everyone. And then by 7 we were already eating. By 7.15 everybody was done with everything. So we had a good time to relax. Usually we just go, go, go in the morning. My daughter's always running out the door. Me and my son are always running out the door. Today it felt so good to kind of just have a chill morning like literally everything was done for the kids they didn't even have to worry about putting their water in the water bottles i got everything done because i actually had time usually in the morning they take care of the majority of their things small things you know just to get ready i think that's a new schedule that i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna start waking up at 6 30 and uh, not 6 30 i think i'm gonna start waking up at 6 instead of 6 30 it just makes a huge difference that's enough rambling about my schedule i don't know if you guys even care but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video also if you guys have youtube channels and you know i don't follow you or you're not sure if i follow you then leave them in the comments below so that way i can check it out i am looking for you know obviously youtube friends to support but also i want to have those videos playing when i'm working because i feel like i, I ran out of people to watch it's either i'm always caught up or they don't put out as much like the the people that i do watch they don't put out as much so 
in turn, I'm always cut up. But anyway, if you guys have YouTube channels, let me know in the comments. <laughs>